Aidan, here to obviously preview tomorrow night's game against Balmain United. Uh, how's uh, how's the boys been since our since our last game? Yeah, obviously we played Korean two two weeks ago now, and you know we probably didn't want to stop. We wanted to keep going. Um, but look, Balmain tomorrow night, boys have arrested up well over the international break, um, and yeah, ready to get back at it. And what what sort of things have you been doing? Obviously, as a week goes by, it's obviously match preparation. But when you have a bit of a break in between. Games, I think it was maybe near enough two weeks. What what sort of things do you do in between that time? I think it's important we got we got a wee rest, you know, we got a couple of days off to um, you know, freshen back up and then we get back in this week and you know, work worked hard in training and um the boys are all buzzing and get going tomorrow night. And obviously it's important we, we sort of carry on the the run that we've been in and do you think maybe breaks like this probably could could go against us in a way? I'm not sure, probably find out tomorrow night but I think first and foremost we've we've got to be bang at it tomorrow night. Um, you know we've got to get, give the work rate first, and then we've got the quality to to hurt them tomorrow night. But it's all about attitude tomorrow night and go into the game a hundred mile an hour and get the job done. And you've settled in really well here at the club. Uh, how you things been since you've been involved at Glentorn? No, amazing. Been loving it. Um, obviously f- back in full time football. Um, great group of lads in there. Great management staff. Um, loving everything about the club, so I think you can see that on the pitch. I'm, I'm really enjoying it, and no, well, mate, continue. And not only are you, you grabbing clean sheets at the back, which is your bread and butter, but you're you're in amongst the goals as well, and you've become a bit of a cult hero already with the fans. You must be loving that. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Any time I can chip in, my goal's nice, but the clean sheets are the one that you know you come in after a game and everyone's buzzing, especially for us, big as and Paddy at the back as well. Like clean sheets are our bread and butter, as you say. And, when we get one, we're all, we're all buzzing. And not only have uh, on the pitch, have, we've been wow. we've been busy off the pitch as well. We've, we've been busy doing a, a lot of community work. What's it What's it like getting involved with the, the East Belfast community and and helping about helping about the, the local area? No, it's definitely important to to give back to the community. Like you see the and him that we can do to help uh, the community and you know build and grow. It's we're always ready to get our get our teeth into, and it's such an important part. And we had obviously a couple of the players in the squad that, that represented Northern Ireland in international duty during the week there. What was it like sort of seeing teammates going away in international duty and, and sort of, you know, getting rewarded for their performances at club level? No, it was great it's great to see the lads going away and getting called up and international recognition is always great. You know, I had it myself back home, you know, under under night well, all the way up to the age groups and under nineteen level. So look it's always great representing country and it shows that Especially like Conor Mack going away with the with the first team squad that there's, you know, there's a pathway through for the lads and you know hopefully, you know for me as well there's maybe managers and stuff going to be looking at our league and thinking looks good standard of league so you know it's good. And then obviously going into tomorrow night's game against Balmain United they've not not had the the best of starts to the season as a player. What do you look into that much or you obviously know what what type of team Balmain are like? No, I think you can't look on form. Um, you know, you get you'll get a hundred percent for Balamina and they they'll come here wanting a result and try and I know they've been on a bad run, they'll try and come here and, you know, get off that run. So we've as I said before, we've got to be a hundred mile an hour tomorrow night and give everything and, you know, hopefully we get a job done. Do you notice uh, a different sort of approach when teams come to the Oval to play against the Glens compared to playing them maybe away from home? Yeah, well I think, you know, I've been away from home as well, teams tend to sit in against us and make it difficult and it'll, it'll probably be the same, you know, tomorrow night, they'll probably come with five um, and sit in and it's down to us to try and break them down and, um, you know, again, looking forward to the game tomorrow night.